Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at word wrapping in CSS3. Now if you look at my uh, main.html we have a p tag with it's which it says the longest name of the train station of a train station is the lounge fair plural something something go go gosh and it's true google it basically it is true this is the longest name of a train station which in the world it's in the guinness world of records and it's somewhere in wales i've been to it before and i took a picture of it it's really cool now uh coming back to the topic uh, i have a p inside my styles tag and i have a box uh, I've created a box around it which has a width of 200 pixels and a border of 1 pixel solid back, black. Now if I look at my browser, blah, look if I look at my browser, you can see that we have this box and uh, by default it says the longest uh, it says the longest name of the train station is something something. But uh, if you look closely, uh, the word actually goes to the next line if you can't uh, fit it into the same line inside the box by default however if he had if you have one long word just like the name of our train station over here the la lam fair pool you something something william something something silly silly oh gosh uh it actually uh goes outside of the box because this is considered to be a single word so uh by default the word that is longer than if a word is longer than the length or the width of our box it automatically goes over it which looks ugly and we don't want it to do that so uh, in order to uh, stop the word from doing this there's a new CSS uh, property called word wrap uh, oops, that's my chair making creaky noises if you heard it if you can hear it uh, you write word wrap and basically using the word wrap basically we have either normal or or a break word and normal is just normal only words that you can break like words which has I don't know like a comma in between so if I put like a comma somewhere like here it actually goes to the next line because commas are apparently considered as a different word so uh, if you put the word wrap to be normal it's going to have the normal default property however you can actually set it to break word basically that means that the word is going to break in the middle so uh, if I refresh this it's going to not go outside of my box and it's going to stay inside and it's going to go to carry it's going to go onto my neck onto the next uh, sentence so if I press refresh uh, because of this word wrap property with a value of break, break word the name of the longest train station actually went over just about three lines within the box and if I change the width of my box I don't know like 250 pixels it's going to do like that the longest name of train station is the land something go go gosh and it's going to go within the box stay inside the box and it's going to be two lines so if if I actually set it to like I don't know 50 pixels just for the fun of it it's going to be a really long uh, box because everything is going to fit inside the box and if I set this word wrap to normal, what happens is all these, uh, the longest name is going to stay within the box because uh, the each word is uh, smaller or the length of each word is less than the width of the box. However, the name of the biggest train station is actually going to go outside of the box. So uh, let's change this back quickly to, come on, whoops. Let's change this back quickly to break word and there we go so that was a quick video on the word wrap property in css you can either have a uh, value of normal or break word and normal doesn't really matter because it's just a default and if you use break word everything is going to fit within the box so it's uh, a neat a way of uh, making your i don't know like your article website or uh, some stuff within that you want to put inside your box in your website neat looking uh, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.